Hi, Scarlett. Hi, Florence. Thanks for Hi. your time. I thought you were going to be in the same room. I asked, and they told me, yeah, they are going to be together. But no, you are in different places, right? <laughs> yeah, but it feels so like the same room. <laughs> it does. It does. <laughs> do you like this better than doing the regular Yankees? What do you think? Um, I, I don't know. I mean, this is my first time. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't formed an opinion of it yet. It's, a, <laughs> it's, I'm happy that we're able to do them. Um, yeah. yeah. So that, yeah, I'm thankful for that. And, uh, you know, it's allowed us to kind of all be in our like respective places safely, but it would be nice to, you know, see our, each other in person like, <laughs> at some point and celebrate. That's the one down part. Uh, I know. Downside we, is, haven't, we haven't had a yeah. celebration yet, Scala. I know it's a that's a bummer. We haven't that had to we haven't gotten to celebrate together, but Thank someday you. soon we will. Yeah. Yeah. And it's about time that uh, these movies release, right? Because I mean, you you film bef this is a pre pandemic filming, <laughs> and it was yes. supposed to to go out. Uh, months ago so how does it feel to to now see see it coming um it's pretty i don't you know it's so funny i, I i've gotten so used to uh it being like in the can for such a long time that um i it's kind of when people tell me that they that people have just started seeing it for screenings and everything um it still feels like a secretive thing that we're holding on to. And I, I don't know if I'm mentally prepared for it to be, mm -hmm. I mean, I definitely want, I'm ready for everybody to see it, but I don't know if I'm completely mentally prepared to like, let it all go. Are you um, worried? You know, what'd you say? Are you worried? Um, I don't know. It feels like I'm like putting my kid on the school bus for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> and it, I'm a little and worried, but also excited. It's obviously the first uh, movie of the next phase of the the MCU, right? So, any pressure there? Uh, what, how do you feel? Do you, do you, especially for you, Scarlett, that you have been obviously in, in the in the previous movies? Does it feel like a different direction for Marvel with this movie? Yes, it does. I mean, it feels we we intended. Um, to make a movie that felt like it could stand alone, uh, and it, I think it does, uh, has, it should have its own look, style, flavor, all of that, uh, you know, ev everything about it from the, from the, the fighting, uh, fight choreography, the way the action sequences are, are, um, you know, are, are assembled, uh, the music, uh, the color, all of it. I mean, we wanted it really to be its own thing. Um, and, uh, you know, yeah, of course there's, there's pressure, you know, I, I have a lot to live up to, uh, you know, several, several of my, I have a healthy competition with several of my other Avengers cohorts. Um, and, you know, want to deliver something mostly that the fans, uh, you know, really, really appreciate and brings them a lot of, 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 you know, uh, fulfillment. So yeah, pressure for uh, sure. For you, Florence, <laughs> how, how does it feel to be part now of the, of this wall of the MCU? Well, now it feels wonderful. I mean, obviously it's all been wonderful, but I think um, I think coming on board to not only just a film like this, but coming on board and joining the MCU is, it's so, uh, it's big, it's daunting. It's, I was instantly afraid that I was gonna let people down. Um, I was instantly afraid that I wasn't gonna be the Yelena that fans maybe wanted. And so I think, there's been a piece of me that's been really apprehensive to know what people are going to think and what they are going to say. But I have to say the whole overall experience of joining this, this moment has been so wonderful and um, a pure joy to be a part of. And the fact that that's going to continue is, is equally as exciting and thrilling and nerve wracking. <laughs> Um, I was part of the group that visited you uh, in London for the, um, ah. for, for uh, that was September, I remember, September 2019, so it's, it's been a while, and 
I remember, and, and it's been on, on the news, we published it this week when they leave the embargo of, that, of those interviews, Scarlett, when you mentioned that the character, um, you were trying to move away from the hypersexualization, and this was your word, right, of the character in the, in the, in the first movies, especially in Iron Man 2. Um, this was, as I said, in, in 2019, do you, how, how do you, do you still think the same and, and, and seeing now the final product, the movie out there, do, do you think that uh, that intention that, that, that you had of, of moving away from that sexualization is, uh, uh, is in the movie, in the new movie? Um, I think this, this film is, it's, it's such a personal journey that Natasha is on. Um, you know, we sort of actively, of course, she's a woman and, and she's a, you know, she's a sum of all of her parts, right? She has many different, different facets. She has desire. She has, you know, um, you know, she's a, she's, has, it's, it's not that she's not a sexual being, um, but it, it, it's, you know, I think the film is, it, we made it from the inside, you know, um, it, 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 I think she was objectified um, in the, in those, in that early, very early film. And while, while the film succeeds in other ways, um, you know, the character is, is not really, you know, is, is objectified in a way that women are and have been forever. And, um, and now it's 10 years later and it's been, an amazing awakening for a lot of people. And certainly, you know, I think, um, you know, it's taken the time that it's taken, but that's okay too. And the studios are now sort of kind of where they should be and, um, you know, open to, and being held accountable in different ways and open to collaboration and listening. And, uh, you know, whether that hand is like, forced or not, it's, it's, it's a good, it's a good thing. And it feels really, um, rewarding to be on, you know, to be a part of that whole process, you know, to start where we started and then end up with this film sort of answering to that. Um, I think really successfully, you know, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's very fulfilling. And, uh what is next for the character? Do, do you think that this is it for, for your character, Scarlett, or, or there is more to come? Um, I think, I think I'm, I've, you know, really put in a great effort. I have spent uh, 10 years kind of chipping away at this. And, um, you know, I think uh, it's really, it's good to end on a high note and, uh, you know, leave when the party is still raging. And, um, you know, I, I, I feel if this is my last, my last, uh, ride on the carousel, I'm, I'm, I'm good with it. I feel really satisfied with the work that I've done. And, um, you know, I think I can, I can comfortably close this chapter of my, of my, uh, career. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think that's my time. So thank you so much. <laughs> And uh, maybe next time we see each other in person, hopefully. Yeah. Yes, Bye. for sure. Take care. Thank you.